You can't do walking up through the toilets. Will you clear this? Electronic tucked in. Yakinda is he gonna give this a look and he's just holding it right now, but he walks to his death and now the B hits underway. That lurk from Yakinda can't get anything done. It's not fly down at B in the meantime. Quick double kill off that Glock. He said he's been a pillar of consistency. Well, that's a great way to open up. Damage done to bit over it short as well. Simple with this P2K. Seen him pull off some gnarly shots with it in the competition so far. Gonna need a bit more of that as suddenly it is just down to him in the 1v4. Liquid are running at him. Knife out. Oh, yeah, I think he kind of realized <laughs> you ain't getting the knife in there. And so it's Liquid grabbing a pistol round. Yeah, bit represents a pretty tantalizing fight for Team Liquid. There's no one here to help him. So if they can find this opener, yeah, that's an untradeable kill, right? That's a that's a 5v4 that you can't equalize. Might see a bit of reaction here out of Na'Vi, and here it is, right? Pushing up over towards short, Sundar Young and Perfecto both take fights, and uh -oh. Sundar Young wins two of them. Electronic comes in with another, chimes in with a kill from that CZ. Alige opened the round. Now he's going to have to open this B site. He's gone. Sundar Young's 5-7 is doing Team Liquid in. Nitro. All alone now, and the rotate's already here from Simple. Gonna be a rough one trying to get around this corner. Baits the shot, but the 5-7 delivers. Four in the round out of Sumdar Young. And a lovely way to steal that, that little uh, force by away from Team Liquid. Yeah, great job from SDY. Nice little peek in towards water here. Just a good sequence put together all together. That's a nice shot onto OC. This is a nasty little one. He saw the shadow of a liege before he could even turn the corner. That was well done. Nice. Disgustingly good round from SDY. Back to Monster we go. They don't have time to rotate all the way back around towards A. Flash is raining in, streaming over Monster. I fly with one. Some die young and Perfecto trying to play this crossfire, but Elise taps them out. Simple here from earlier. And bit rotating through the heavens. Keep that contained. Keep it under control. He's got to be careful, Naf. Oh, he doesn't realize it. He's not even checking. He's not even looking whatsoever. This is so... Oh. Oh. Does he turn? Oh, freebie. That's huge. But everyone's already rotated. Back to the B bomb site, and Liquid have free access. Nobody's home for Navi. Perfecto's got to tuck down. And there's going to be a bomb plant as OC streams in. 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, that's a rough dink, but Simple will reply. Moving in to help out Perfecto. They're starting to find a way back in. The bomb cut loose from Team Liquid, and they can't get it back in time. This one's stolen away from them. You thought the Nafly did enough, right? That was a lovely little lurk into B that opened up that route into an empty side of the map. Liquid to try to manipulate these rotates again with a bit of a fake, but this time they're just going to stick to their guns, follow through with this B play. Smoking monster, but Liquid are already ahead of it, and it's Yakinda with another kill in the round. This hero AK doing a good job of keeping Liquid in this one. He drops that bomb over. Damage to Elise, who doesn't need to repeat this now. Bomb planted for him. Yakindar still keeping up this aggression on the AK. From the get-go of this round, he wanted to be involved in fights. Oh. But that's his last one. Simple with the return, with the response. And now he's moving in, closing the net on these site players. Elise bought down even lower. And OC getting wrapped. He desperately needs help, but Elise can't offer anything. So low, so low on health, and one chance to land this shot. Out with the swing, that's clean, and he's got Simple off the bomb. Three seconds, two left on it. He's he gets it. him off one more time. Simple it's wins so it. close, but Simple oh, committed. No. It's just <laughs> short. The fuse goes off, and Team Liquid have stole that round away. That's ice cold from Elise, and even just playing it perfectly, keeping Simple off the bomb just long enough. A nice one tap from Simple to activate this. It took a long time for them to find OC. And this shot right here wins the day. Bit swings into it. Nice. Nothing he can do. Let's go. Thanks. Good opportunity to try and shut this down, but the timing on that turn. Electronic, who wasn't looking over towards the entry, just turns around as the flash comes in. Good for one, but not enough to keep this in a favorable spot for Na'Vi. Suddenly you're hoping like Bit just be unaccounted for up close in the toilets and Elise ready for that swing. Naf once again might find just a free B bomb site. Flashbangs were out in support as he streams in and Perfecto's just bailing out. But OC's got a cross with oh. the bomb and he's gonna drop it. 20 seconds. 
Okay, Nitro's just grabbed it. He was down bottom of connector. Thank goodness he was, right? Or else this one could have fallen away to the time. And he's heard that footstep lurks in the bathrooms and executes perfecto. So that's going to put a stop to any chance of weirdness in the two on three. This A side of the map, right? Maybe force a bit of a reaction out of Na'Vi. And actually, it's about to come through now. It's another clash of Simple and OC. And it's another one that Simple is able to win out. A tag goes his way, but not the killing blow. And now him and Bit. Okay, okay, you found bits. You know that Simple's still here. Your kids are in a liege as this little tag team taking a lot of space up yeah. the long side. And Nafly holds down the connector. These lurks out of him still finding a lot of impact for Team Liquid. It, it gives Liquid just this huge info advantage in that situation. It made that tag team that much more deadly. Grouped up over towards middle, and a liege will be sent forward alone. Set up by a flash. All short. There's this con flank starting to arrive out of Nitro, and that'll pressure Bit out of the round. Simple from the front of the toilets wants to try and fight for this control, but Yakindar has slipped the net into the toilets. Here's Simple reposition, and on the flash from Nitro, takes a swing. Every one of these fights has been supplemented with a flashbang so far for Liquid. Great little interplay between them over here in middle, and Yakindar's going to take it one step further on this solo mission. Nath. Looking for the flank, and he's got it. Good transfer up. Good find on a Perfecto. And man, Liquid just keep knocking him down. Navi have nothing. Another plant. And a seventh round. Oh my oh. lord. Nav even gets that one. Okay. They've just not had chances. These rounds have not been super close. Perfecto flashed off the angle. Yakindar leads the charge. Traded after the first by Electronic. But he's in hot water. Trying to reposition over onto the short side. There is this com flank as well. Going to complement it quite nicely with Electronic's aggression. They can hit to this short man together. Nitro, a short man indeed as he ducks under those bullets, but Bit will come in with the trade. I, I still don't think Navi really know where Liquid is on the map. You know, uh, remove this flow of info is brilliant. And both uh -oh, players bit. are looking uh -oh, at Con. Both players looking into the connector. Nafly dead and simple now needs to trade this swinging out. He will deal with one, but that is a clean trade for Naf. He had maybe a second to lock that in on a very tight angle. Makes it look easy. And one thing he's got going for him is that Elyse is low on health. And so maybe on this first row, if he finds the opener, that's going to invite him in. And it's Nafly to face him first. Molly will not hold back some die young, but Elyse nails the follow-up shot. That orb thrust into his hands at 20 points of health, and he puts it to work. This time, no pop flash. They don't want to give away two. He comes in a little bit late. Leashes one, gets lured. Into the trap. OC, good shot. Is he going to get another one? Bit missed an opportunity, and there it is, the second. OC having a chance for impact, and he's delivered with two. Oh, he's trying to turn it into a fake. He's hoping that lobbing in this not working. forces the rotate, but no, Navi sticking to their guns. Sunda Young with the Mag 7. Oh, no! Oh, dear! Oh, but don't worry. Simple should have saved it with that kill there. Nitro going to arrive, but just seconds too late. Maybe three, two, one, and Simple is away. Just wins it by hiding. Just falling short of that one. The flank... A couple of seconds too late. Oh, here we go. All right. Orp aggro, and they're, they're both going to meet over here on short. Simple and OC are both boys to take this, but it's electronic to break the silence. Moving in, he will get traded off the one. Simple hangs around the back of the smoke, but Elise punishes in a very big way. It's him and Yakinda on his tag team again, trying to rise above it all, but some die young puts him in the dirt. Dancing around, Flash finds him. Bits got him from the heavens. Lovely little interplay between these two. It's left to Nitro. Trying to get double digits for Liquid, but he can't get it done. Sum Dai Young locks in a six round half for Na'Vi. That Liquid went on in the middle portion of that opening half. Absolutely devastating. Na'Vi's gonna try and replicate things. Perfecto goes one for one. Dooley's on a liege as well. Over at the stairs, SDY and Electronic. Dooley's can't get the job done. And you can or can't get the job done. SDY continues to step up. Yeah, it was him in round 15 who really put on a show down in that B site to find Na'Vi a sixth. He's kickstarted this second half in a big way. That's a double Glock kill in the connector. 
Serves Na'Vi really well in this round. They've got the B site. They know the Nitro's over here in middle. It would almost be impressive to find a way to lose this one. And so they simply won't. Na'Vi arrive on this T side. So he will have to keep his head on a swivel here. When you throw up in the boost like this, you're really hoping you get something out of it because getting out of this boost position can be rough, even with the smoke down. But the spam damage connects, but they will get the players out. Bit trades, and now Liege going up and over. He makes a boost of his own up on top of the dice box, but that one's not left to chance. Team Liquid. It's gonna leave this B site that much less defended. OC is here on the AWP, playing around the pillar. They line up for him over it short. Does miss the flick back, but a two for one. It ain't bad. He skewers the short play. Perfecto with the trade onto Nitro, but a man's already dropped in. Your kind are fast to arrive. Leaves it all on bit in the one versus three. He's got 20 seconds. Bomb at his feet, but he's moved past it. Instead, he's hunting down this trade. However, Nafly repositions nicely around that util combo at CT. Yeah, he's kind of got to run it back towards B. And so that's going to leave you with a three-player push. These two A guys having to try and drop down into the connector, but Elise has been here since the start of the round. Electronic gets all the way in. He's kind of shocked how much room he's got here. And with Bit winning that fight in the connector, victory's going to be short-lived. Yakindar should have this trade. Nitro tries to run into the site and deny a plant and... Oh, they didn't uh, get it. They, they didn't, didn't get, get it. it. That molly went into the site and it moved them out of position long enough. I didn't, <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't think we were going to get that at an RV. This uh, round is so weird. Uh, very awkward. And when you're playing it to the extremities of the clock like that, those are not the words we want to be throwing around. Yeah, I mean, it's not even really close. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just pistols. It's an M4 for electronic, but they might. Yes, they do get OC over in middle. Elise in the connector. He's just been begging them to give him a round where he gets to fight, and you can see why. Elise tears him down. Three in the round from him in the con hold. I'd like to think he's done enough, and with this big flank on the cards for your Kindar, for this flank could get activated. They've got no idea it's happening. And with them slowing down like this, it's given your Kindar so much room, so much time to just steal this round away. One versus three for simple. No armor. At least he's got the bomb. That might be the only thing. Maybe if you want to give him a second thing, it'd be the clock, but Naf's pushing. Playing for the retake, playing to just grab one additional kill on their entrance and a miss smoke. That is brutal, and that's not that's not the kind of the kind of mistakes you want to be making at this scoreline. Still, some die young could remedy it, and the Molly is even going to burn out Nitro. Okay, all right. They miss some util. They land the others. OC in the one versus three. This is a round he doesn't even really want to attempt anymore. Pace change maybe feels like an inevitability, right? Like, uh, and let's find out. Navi, all five players towards the B site. This time, a little bit more manpower to start over at A. Elysia's gonna come down the stairs again, but OC's off is out towards long, and here's that pace change, but here's a double kill from Nitro. Once again, a huge deficit for Navi. Perfecto claws it back. A three on two, with a minute and a half remaining in the round. Playing for this trade at bare minimum. Some die young, that was a chance, that was the opportunity, and it sails right by, and they don't know about Nitro. They still haven't cleared this, and so that's a freebie. Simple's now gonna do it alone. At least has the info on this close player. It's a good flash to leave Simple blind. Bit of room given to OC as a result, but he's missed this timing. Simple creeps underneath the heavens and wins that fight. A 1v1. OC, he's landed so many leg shots on Simple throughout this series. Well, finally, needs to convert one of them, and he will. Liquid steal away Na'Vi's map pick to open up this quarterfinal. First piece of intel that Navi's able to gain when OC decides to chuck out this smoke. There's one in middle. Molotov in towards Donut. This is a full force attack. Electronics got to do business with the duelies. Oh, he turns for a flashbang and gets dropped. But Bit is there in support. Double headshot as he sinks back. That's clean out of Bit. Can he find any more? Going through the motions on these temple fights. He's waiting for a swing. A main or big box. The flash will find him. Sending him back. Yakindar gives chase. But might have bit off more than he can chew here. There's a lot of bodies around this corner. OC. 
One versus three. They're all coming out the temple. A hope and a prayer. But this one is not liquids. Navi claps upon them yeah. with that lovely little double from Temple. It was so fast. Like, look at this. Oh, my God. There's Lord. one. And there's the okay. second. You barely even see him. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. I, I, I really didn't force back any defense that's inside Jaguar. Two players here. Little bait and switch setup. Do love to see that between Sam Dai Young and Electronic. Two of those guns gone. This force buy off to a pretty rough start for Team Liquid. Are they going to clear Bit, who lies in wait at the back of Donut? Oh, they don't look too interested. Luckily enough, OC was holding for it if Nitro wasn't. And so he will trade after one, but he didn't really want the 1v1 if you're Liquid there. That fly's making up for lost time. Lost doable men, with lost the players. And the two on three. This is very possible. Liquid's got a lot of time. And Electronic on a very long flank as well. There's no kits. This is going to chew plenty of time off of the bomb tick. Yeah, Lacquer Kits really does just put that much more pressure on this round for Na'Vi. They really need to win some of these early engagements. Now, nah, swinging back, will get caught from the main peak, but OC, now if he just tries to play around this bomb, play the time, it's really rough for Electronic, and that's going to decide it. He knows that OC can fully just play the timing game on that one. Doesn't need to give him a fight. He can just be reactive to those bomb taps and... Yeah, you know, we kind of had it at the start of the game, and then they entered that horrible time period with the money where they just couldn't really look to bring it back out either. Electronic fighting on an island in middle, and Nitro, he swallowed that island up. Bit and Electronic both dead. Here's a chance. The tides are rising. The tides are turning. Simple with this AWP has got to be the man to do it. From behind the big box, focused on Donut. Flash goes in, but does not find him blind. Tries to get out of there, but can't escape with more than one. Sight's lost. Round's lost. Na'Vi. That's perfect coordination from Team Liquid off the back of your Kinder taking attention away. They're throwing a lot of investment in around these safe guns. They still want to try and fight for this round. Some die Young is believing. That's a nice play into the double doors. Liquid certainly weren't prepared for the pace. And now Sam Dai Young's even able to kind of keep his head on a swivel thanks to Perfecto taking control of the B-doors away. He now leans into mid to give Electronic a bit of a helping hand. And that should make this mid hole that much safer with Electronic dead. Sam Dai Young uh, really looking to put those guns to use from the get-go. You know, I think if one thing's been clear throughout this series, it's that Liquid are very, very good at getting in your head, getting under your skin, manipulating... Boost up at the perfect moment. Electronic over the top. Nitro's gonna start teasing and swinging out a little bit wider. Needs to be a kill. It's a dink. Not completed. One for one. And now they know the position of bit as well. Molotov's gonna come in and he's pinned down by the AWP. And great shot from OC. Two kills for him so far. And now Liquid can start streaming for... Is Navi's gonna save already? They want nothing to do with it. You got a kill to find the three on three. It's like, where do you go from there? You're going to be fighting and scrapping with Liquid every step of the way. This defense is Swiss cheese at the moment. There's been seven rounds played. Six of them, Liquid have gotten a bomb plant. Flashbang is going to give the indication that OC's grabbed it. There's the shot as he gets blind. And Yakinder's up next. Electronic actually challenging this angle. And Yakinder is pre aimed, but it doesn't matter. It's perfecto to cut down two. Lovely little sequence. All that util out for Liquid now. That last smoke used on short, but it's going to waste a lot, a lot of time. Na'Vi can't really wait for that short smoke to fade. Someone might have to come through it. They're really hoping that someone oversteps. That flash sets them up. And now they look to move in. Nitro back at the site. Takes the head off of Perfecto. Has these last two just boxed in. And everyone from Liquid, one moment you're not seeing anyone. You're not getting any fights. And the next, you're getting three. They are getting dealt a lot of new ideas in some of these rounds. I like this. On the back of the pause, they say, all right, let's run it in B again. Whatever they had planned, let's just uproot it with a fast B play. To do that, they had to get past simple, and they've managed it. They have to take real estate over towards long or ramp. These are the options open to you, and they've elected for the former. Nitro left inside of the site, and that fly smoke off a liege full blind. In nice way to isolate that engagement. Nitro now gone. That fly is going to have to do the heavy lifting. Flash to confuse him through the short smoke. They're all looking at Long, where he just dropped that flashbang. They're on the bomb, and with three seconds, he's not in position to get them off of it. They realize very quickly where that's plotted for and the kind of opportunity that they have. 
Yeah, you hear that util going out, and it's like, oh, there's no one A. Okay. I think, I think right. he's been spotted as well. Nitro knows he's in this position. Molotov to flush him out. It's deep. Force him into the corner. Nitro can pre-fire this. There it is. Good kill. Good kill. I think he heard electronic as well. <laughs> he's got <laughs> another. And Liquid are going to force Navi into a save again. Yeah, Sam Young out here in middle. Not even he's a safe bet. Elise uproots him. So you don't even get out with three of these guns and you never had a chance to win the round. A flawless eighth for Team Liquid. That one, I, I, I kind of you know, was willing to forgive, even if it felt like a, a bit much. Uh, with, the, with the rotate from bit, I have no idea what info was called for him to rotate away and just completely leave that A side of the map open. Yeah. They also had, you know, kind of a, a bit of an essence as to what was happening in mid anyway. Yeah, I mean, they had Electronic already pushed down. I think they even had SDY over towards Jaguar. They had some presence in mid as it was. Bit was there also. And so as a result, you know, the, the kind of net result is, is that the other side of the map gets weaker as well. Electronic. Oh, the timing on that. Nothing's going right for them here. Nitro with that trade in mid bit once again pulled over from A and once you see him, once you deal with him like that, in every one of these rounds where you've killed bit early, you've had a path into this A bomb site. Liquid have no reason to take their fingers off the trigger right now. They're just gonna hit the go button on this. And how many more rounds can you save if you're Navi? You need to you need to put more numbers on the board. Nitro's gonna swing into a great kill. Now you kind of are forced into a save. Simple goes down. Good double from Nitro. SDY does what he can with the 5-7, but no chance whatsoever. He's even gonna go down at the end of the day. OC with his Tech 9 grabs another. Nitro's had some great double kills so far in this map, but I'll tell you what, the real power of this T side has been this mid crunch. Liquid just need to dot their I's, cross their T's, Elise out in middle. Well, we can't drop out of the round. That Molly can't quite secure the trade, and Bit moving in to lend a helping hand. Well, at least keep this in the advantage of Na'Vi. Now, your Kindar has varied up his routing this time, right? He doesn't want to fight you at Cave anymore. You haven't had to contend with someone sneaking out ramp like this. So Perfecto <laughs> is simply not ready for it. There is still some die young in Cave. He's an unknown factor. He's an unknown quantity, but your Kindar fighting the front line and some die young dies on the rotate out of the Cave spot. Simple over at the A side of the map. OC is holding this line. Simple needs to land like this ludicrous one tap or else it's a done deal. Missed shot for OC. Molly's going to keep him off the angle. Going back in. Simple will deal with him. Yakinda opened up this round with a beautiful double kill. Now it's down to him and Naf to close. They're going to play together. Back of the site, both in this cubby. Hugging one another. That warm embrace as Simple moves in. And it might be more of a sweet release for Simple, that sweet release of death calling his name. There's one, but the trade for Nafly is found, and it's an 11-4 half Team Liquid looking lights out. And now 11-4 up to open up Ancient from the T side, meaning all they got to do is find a pistol here in this second half, and they're off to the races. It's a good start. A couple of kills taking place over here in middle. Finally, Na'Vi get one going their way, but it might be a victory that's short-lived. Some die young and simple trying to reroute fast in towards this A side of the map, but Liquid are one step ahead. Yeah, OC's already shifting into Donut. Yukinder's already coming in towards Temple as well. It's going to be even harder just to get a plant. Now he knows the position of Simple as well. That's a great kill from Yukinder. Simple can't turn the corner, and OC's got the final one. 12-4, to 4 and S Team Liquid just continued to march on. Yeah, you know, you're kind of hoping you were going to go out with a bang, but it's with a whimper. At least a fight, yeah. <laughs> right? Here's a lineup for OC instead. We do get a couple of kills out of bit, and it's P250. That gives you a route to the plot that Nitro takes away. However, bit still keeping up appearances. Finally brushed aside. Simple. This is grimy. This is gross. That fly didn't know about that one. Backstab from Temple leaves it in this 1v1. Your Kindar's moved in, taken up position, and... Temple looking for him. But so many angles to clear. M4 retrieved, and there's that swing out from your Kindar. I think that was just a really nice way to kind of play the 1v1. The smoke molly combo, it's brutal. Like, that's kind of forced their hand, you know? You, you wanted to split mid and come in from two positions for the A play. Instead, it's everyone out through main. Damage done, some die young and bit, though, are the ones getting the kills right now. Smoke and Donut gonna remove these sight lines from middle. 
Open on a prayer here that something can happen through these smokes. I think especially with the, the kind of style that Liquid have elected to play in this game, right? When you, when you think about like the interesting way to go about gathering this info. They've taken mid. Tried to retake it at least, but here's Na'Vi. Pop flashing themselves in a little late, a bit open the round in middle, and then he sets up simple to do the save. Through the donut, Alige lies in wait. Nafly bought down low on his rotate from B. And the bomb, it's actually going all the way back over towards the B bomb site. They know they've got Naf out of position, so it's a free path there right now. But the bomb does have to cross mid. Alige could have looked to uproot that, but instead he goes right into some die young. You know, he's kind of sussed out like the, the, the molly placement that they're lining up when Nitro's going for these aggro mid peaks and trying his best for it. There's the jump up and huge win from Simple. He got the information. I see Wang around. Oh, Perfecto just deletes him. Now, there is still this double cave set up to contend with. You know it was your Kindar here earlier. Now you're seeing Nafly in the kill feed. Might raise suspicions for Na'Vi. Nitro pretty far removed from this one. Gonna have to be swift on this rotate if they want to stand a chance. Some die young. Nails that shot to Nafly. And a double swing out of him. And Perfecto seals the fate of this round. Okay or excuse me, it was 12-3 for Na'Vi on their CT side, and then 13-2 for Liquid on their CT side. Now the defenses are just getting pounded. Five rounds straight for Na'Vi, five bomb plants. And the individuals are coming alive. That's a beauty from Perfecto. That's against the AWP. SDY with a nice double kill as well. One round. Nitro gonna challenge from the entrance to Donut, blinded, and he's got a back behind the smoke. No chance to defend, no chance to fight. Oh, and it might be over. Yeah, that one kill could very well seal the deal. If Yakinda can't make a hero play through this smoke, then it certainly would have. But that double entices you. That double has given you a reason to believe. He can just pluck one player as they try to get by to grab this bomb. That could be enough. Instead, missed shot. Nitro tried to make up for it. Almost left him exposed. Na'Vi have even retrieved the smoke from Yakindar's body in the site. Nafly with the backstab. They didn't know about him. The patience is rewarded. Some die young with a trade. Two in the round. He's going to need four in this 1v3 to make it happen. Plant tries to come in. It's attempted, but Nitro won't let him plug in those digits. Ooh, nearly connects, but in all this madness, Na'Vi yeah. made it up the ramp. And this has been a bit of a go-to, really. Slip the knife in the back, Yakinda, fighting from the front. Now, in the back lines, it's around the world for Yakinda. Already on a bit of a retake up the ramp side with some support, but he would have to do it solo, two in the round from the man. But this time, that multi-kill might not be enough to tempt you in. Raining out, and that's happened a number of times at the B bomb site where Nap's kind of been the only defender. And once that utility stream's over, if he's aggressive, he gets caught by the utility. So he's had to fall back and go passive a number of times. This one, he gets caught. Last win fight here. With OC dead down in the donut, Yakindar needed to get away really with more than one. In a 4v3, we're looking at Naf with this AWP in the back of the site. And we're saying he's got to deliver. He's got to step up here. Starting to stream over with Util now. Alige is in position to lend a helping hand. That smoke makes life hard for him. It's going to give them passage into the site, but not for free. The spam connects. Three versus three. Na'Vi, they don't get that bomb down. Time is running out. Five seconds and Elise tries to deny the plant. Nitro could have done it with that spam, but he shows mercy. That's given the plant over. Second time's the charm for Nitro and now Perfecto's got to do it alone. 1v2 from the top of ramp. He's stuck fighting here. They don't know about him yet. Nafly with a little jiggle. Nitro gets the spot. They know where he is. 
Perfecto. They try to ice him out. They tap the bomb. They get that first and the second fight. Perfecto wins the clutch. And Na'Vi keep the comeback coming in. 12 to 14. Now the gap is closing. The clutches are coming through. And the individuals are starting to appear for Na'Vi. And that's got to be a feel-good round for Perfecto. He was not in this series for the first three halves played. Nowhere on overpass. Nowhere in the first half. But here... Delivered some stunning impact kills. That kill on the OC at the B bomb site, and now a 1v2 clutch. They can have a very fast flank, and this is a new look. A little bit of aggression out of Team Liquid. OC looking for an angle. Nap as well, blinded. Tries to jump into cover. He's gotten away somehow. Yeah, it's dicey. It felt sketchy. A Kinder's got one, but Nap now has to deliver. Missed opportunity. Missed shot, and Perfecto pushes forward. Another miss for Nap, and Perfecto. What an impact he's having. Just your kinder are left, lost in the smoke at cave, a 1v4. Those should never come through. Na'Vi, one kill away from tying this up. Your kinder are fighting back with everything he can, but it's not enough. From 13-4, it's gonna be Na'Vi hitting map point first if they find this one. Nah. Up close has support from OC, but the double setup is broken apart with ease. You get that kill on a simple. And it has to be said, you know, this Na'Vi squad has not really demonstrated a great deal of resilience throughout the tournament so far. But for it to be happening now in the quarterfinal, it is just such a big deal. Elise wants to get out with something, but Sunda Young, his spidey senses were tingling. He went back in. Not even an AK grabbed out of the round. 15 to 14. Na'Vi at map point first. This is where, you know, that, that liege kind of double team from last map oh, it would have been lovely to have that getting activated round right about now. Yakindar attempting to get involved early, feeling that pressure again to make a big play happen. They've never come up those stairs. This is it. This is for all the marbles. Overtime on a third map. Nafly gone after one. Elige is deleted. Nitro just turns away. They're up the ramp. They're next to him. And he's only good for one. OC, worlds apart from his team, was holding on to main. Gets here in a pretty timely fashion, but a 1v3. Na'Vi have done all this work on the comeback, and they're about to complete it. One kill away, and Bit will seal the deal. The score's settled on Mirage. Three players inside of the site for Team Liquid, ready to go. And we do have a bit of mid control taken from the other two. So the rotate might come in quickly here as they're already deep down the catwalk. It opens, MPL with one of his own. And there's Simple adding another to the tally. Those three defenders inside of the site are gone immediately. Kind of are in the sense that MPL subbed in, but more so than that, it's like the mentality of Na'Vi has entirely shifted. This would have to be a god tier scout round. Yeah. Oh, not a bad start. Not a bad start. There's one. Any more from this CT scout. Liquid still not moving forward. They've given a lot of time to this flank from Yakindar, but eventually they do just have to hit the go button. So Yakindar's flank is a non-factor till later in the round, but maybe it's how late it is that catches them by surprise on the bomb. Bit's going to get them off it. The tag lands, and he will kill the diffuser. Nitro dead. A liquid, they get all the kills, but none of the glory. Na'Vi get that second round as Bit clutches his way to a win for the squad. Close, though. As you say, this is where the pistols are. This isn't where these rifles can be found. So anything in the defense from the pistols are great. OC okay. with one, and that's a convincing tag from CT. Yakindar finds Electronic down in those lower tunnels, and this one's starting to spiral. Na'Vi are getting hunted. That bomb is pressured back from ramp. Bit cannot hang around. And now Na'Vi are desperately looking for a way out. The only problem is they never had this control over towards B. And look who's moved into the <gasps> apartments. Elise just looks away at the wrong time. And now the path is opened up. Finding at the back of CT, that flash will give up the aim of the game. With so little time left, he knows one kill in the right place could win this round. Unfortunately, he won't be in a position to get it, but the spam is clean. That transfer lands, and OC is the man. Three in the round off that AK. 
just kind of getting fed to the wolves. Now V are going to go back and explore some other avenues here. That's <laughs> a lovely deagle. Any more from Simple? Trying to spam this. Miss shots for your Kindar, and Bit's going to swing on out to save Simple's life. I think Naf is trying to shift her. Oh, he's going to hear these footsteps. They can't slow down. Ooh, Nitro gonna pluck one out in the meantime. And Naf with this hold in B, only good for one. So the danger's still present. Low HP on Simple from earlier in the round. And he needed the plant. Elise is already up short to keep him contained. And I know, gonna try and get that info. Little jiggle, spots a man over on the catwalk, but it's MPL that's the unknown factor here. Oh, never mind, not needed. He's gonna have, gonna have that much more room out through the connector. They don't know about him, but still, Elise rids us of him. Electronic from Palace, dead as well. Simple, in this one, all alone. All for CT and a man dead in jungle. Not out of the round yet is Simple, but is in a rough spot. No denying it, second kill, OC. Knocked out. Not facing. Simple saw that molly on the ground. Wanted to get usage out of it. Blocks off two of these angles. But Naf and Ali swing him together once that bomb is pulled. Plenty of utility for Team Liquid. Navi used all theirs on the execute. Opening kill to Yakinder. Headshot. Another. A follow-up. And Perfecto's going to start activating. But now he's got to move forward into the arms of OC. Simple. Over towards Tetris, missed opportunity, missed chance, and now they're on the bomb, getting closer, MPL can't do a thing, and Yakindar comes up big, two kills to propel them into that retake. That's a round that could be so frustrating for Na'Vi, because you get into the bomb site in a 5-on-5, five five and you have the manpower, but it's just the lack of utility, and it's the nade advantage as well for Team Liquid, all the Molotovs and the various choke points to make sure that you're set up. There is going to be util to try and flush him off a bit. Getting lobbed in now, the cat component for this B-Split, ready to spring, ready to move in, but there is someone considering this for Team Liquid. Na'Vi cannot get this ball rolling because there's a smoke down on short. There's no choice but to try and go through. Nafly controls that spray just barely. Simple, another one of these clutches, but couldn't win the 1v3s. He's got no chance in the 1v5. Might Team Liquid move on a seven. Even then, the AWP save is not guaranteed here with Liquid hunting. Has his number on the wrap through the spawn, and that's Liquid onto seven. Yeah, that realization sets in on the back of your Kindar's information. Molly burning out these ramp players, sees them down low. Electronic will get the opener, and Simple is going to help out. Mike could actually be the one to tip these scales. Oh, real rough couple of sprays from him in these last few rounds. This time, can't control it. Yakindar, that's a lovely turn. He had no business finding Perfecto, and OC suddenly swinging. This didn't even look like a retake to Na'Vi. And suddenly, Bit asked to do it all. Clean Deegs, but he can't find no, the got last. It. He He's got won it. won the round to time. That is massive from Bit. Another clutch added to the tally for this guy. And is it going to take him digging deep to bring Na'Vi back into this? How many times is he going to step up for Na'Vi? But again, no real resistance on the take. A retake set up for Team Liquid. And some brutal losses early on. Yeah, Kinder comes back heroically, but these shots from Bit. Oh, that's so <laughs> dirty. <laughs> But also this time, a little bit of difference in Team Liquid's defense. This time, they're pushed forward into the bomb site, not playing retake. There's going to be presence here. There's going to be resistance. OC winning that first fight. It's big, but Yakinda now having to hold the line. is blindsided by the connector play. Nitro with the transfer. And three kills in the blink of an eye from the captain of Liquid. Nitro just mops him up single-handedly on his ramp progression. That's a great shot on NPL, and it happens so fast. He gets the kill so quickly, he can transfer over to Simple before he can plant his feet. They feign this mid control early, but really, they're looking to come through the apartments, and they're looking to come through quickly. Nafly spots two players crossing, but can't get a beat on them. Yakindar's going to have to do this one solo. They've crossed into the site. They've got the info. OC did dispatch of one man, and that's kept Liquid in this with a liege fast cat rotate from the connector. He's able to play into this round after all. Simple caught as Nitro gets aggressive. Perfecto's gonna have to win this one in the clutch. Yeah, Simple thought it was gonna be OC with the open market. He didn't think he was gonna slide out. Never knew that Nitro had a perfect timing for it, and OC's got the read. OC's got the read, he's got the shot, he's got a double kill. 
You tell going in. Oh, but OC catches them before that smoke blooms. There's the early 5v4. Liquid now, if they want to lean into these retake setups, this is, oh, how oh. you want to do it. But Electronic decides to throw a bit of spice into the mix. Gets aggressive, but caught after one. It's just Perfecto again. His teammates gone around him, and surely no hope here. One shot left in the Deagle. It's not enough. A 10-5 half as OC roars to life on Mirage. Some of the pistol round to what we saw in RV run, but with less attention for Ramp and Palace out of Liquid. Dual Berettas on Electronic and it open close in Palace. It's the ideal sort of position for him. Now you hear the footsteps in Con. Still not enough for MPL to get a beat on it. And suddenly Bits getting pressured from all sides. Elise chases him down. Perfecto's locked in a fight versus Yakinda that he can't win out. The bombs dropped today, Ramp though. Oh. Electronic got aggressive. With that bomb taken away from them, this is now a rescue and recovery mission. You might have to win this one on the back of the gunfights. Simple. Left just holding this cross, can watch it for Electronic, can play this in town, and the dualies are clean and simple, makes that one come through. Yakindar's gonna have to do this in the clutch. One versus two on his plate. And only 30 seconds, Electronic walking in with the dualies. It's the last thing that he expects. And so that's Na'Vi with a pistol under their belt and a big 4K from their captain. The balcony. But they're walking in slowly and surely. There's the spot, and they can't get the trade fast enough. And that pulls the attention of Simple, who will not let them cross. Maybe makes MPL that much less predictable. And I think Yukinder actually called off the flashbang. It looked like Nitro was setting it up. All they need, that frag. elijah has got it. Perfecto maybe getting a little bit too antsy. That noise key will be heard by Nitro, who's going to start sliding forward. He's got the bomb, and once again, the bomb being dropped in this similar position on the Pisteron was the issue. MPL assumes it's clear. He heard nothing. He saw nothing, and he's taken down. Electronic all the way back at CT. The timing on that duck down. Now he's forced to swing it wide. Convincing shot to Nafly. Minimal damage done. Electronic still very much a threat here. And with Simple moving in to join him, not out of the round yet. However, up and over and into two different crosshairs. That's the end of Simple. And that's the end of Na'Vi in that round. It's 11 to 7. Presence in middle and B that he's calling out. Electronic can turn that corner and push very quickly. But the defense is far. Oh, Ooh. Simple spots it. Ooh. I don't think Yakinder realized he was that exposed. Nice shot up. Now Bit and Perfecto are going to get tested inside of this B site. The flashes leave Bit blind, and it's Nitro creating the space, creating the opportunity. A liege on this con lurk catches Electronic in transition. Like, kind of the turning point on Ancient was when Bit figured out the mid fight and how to get yeah. ahead of Nitro there, right? Because it felt like Nitro was getting away with. Electronic's gotten away with a fair, fair bit with pistols in this position. So let's see if there's another one of those rounds. It might leave MPL dead. Oh, but he's going to make up for it. Two kills. Hangs MPL out to dry, but he will deliver. Very important that he stays up in the grand scheme. They spot Simple Zorp all the way back at CT. Electronic still playing around this, uh, this palace position. There we go. Molotov Molly out. He can of force oh. the swing, but he takes him to the grave. It's Nitro in this one alone. You said he's good at the timely multi-kills. Just one more man to make his life hell. Good grab from Nitro. Nice movement to get it. Seven bullets. Seven bullets has to make every single one of them count. Oh, first man in is simple. It's a lot of damage, but Perfecto is wrapping him. And they'll take that one over the line. Electronic, man. Cannot make the noise here. Oh, just going to spam MPL. Never even gets the chance to play. So now Electronic, I said he's done a lot here alone. He needs to do it again. This time out of necessity. Not just the flare. Bit dead. Oh, simple collateral. Elise responds, but simple. Starting to feel it. Takes one of the leg. But you took a swing at the king and you missed the chance. He's still in the round. Still in with the opportunity. Perfecto. Quick flick to Elise. And now OC got to do it alone. He can't find a thing. Na'Vi pull up with the victory. Stealing that one from the clutches of Team Liquid. It looked like they'd done enough. It's this shot that completely <laughs> changes the course of that round. It gave Perfecto the chance for a follow-up stunning headshot in the 2v2. After this, they must save. Oh. 
That was uh that gap felt way bigger on the one way than usual. You better take advantage of this 5v4. Yeah. You better actually win this, but perfecto. Molotov is huge, but once again, Yakinder gets involved in the action, and Simple now missed an opportunity, and he's surely gonna fall, and Yakinder creates everything for Liquid. 16 HP on Electronic. He's gonna go through this smoke in market right now. Yakinder's still worlds away, but he's getting wrapped, getting flanked, and Elise gets rid of him. Bit of aggression to chase down that last man. That realization, right? When Yakinder gets all this space in mid, you were dead on, Jason. It's just immediate. They hit that go button. And B suddenly comes up liquid. And he made that decision to get up Catwalk so quickly while there was still smoke at Khan, and he also threw the smoke on Catwalk, obviously, because, you know, you, you have much of a chance in it. It's not like in rounds gone by where they've yeah. had, you know, stuff to work with. They've got this one flash, a Deagle and a P250 to really make a dent. Up close at Ramp, Nitro lines up the double, convincing tap for bit, but what more can you really expect from the man? They've done well to get a handful of frags, but that's all it should be. Simple Steagle shut down in mid, and that's Liquid on match and series point now at 15 to 9. They've got six chances to get to the semi-final. Elise is pretty deep in through the apartments, but Bitch should have this one locked in as Elise tries to drop into the site. Can't create that space. Nafly tries to do it, and Nitro is going to join us as well. Here's Simple moving through the market. He said he had a feeling. He had that spidey sense tingling. Or will it serve him well in this site push? It won't. Yakindar deletes him. MPL and Electronic, this duo from the A side, have got to do it. It's the last hope for Na'Vi. And Yakindar is looking to send a message, getting aggressive into the market. Locks MPL out of it. Just Electronic now. And Yakindar with the backstab should have this one locked in. Team Liquid take down Na'Vi. And they're going to the semi finals.